false teachers. We're going to go into one specifically today named Kenneth Copeland. We're also going to show a little small clip of Sid Roth doing some complete buffoonery nonsense. Um, I just want to go into a couple of these topics so people know little things to look out for, you know, when uh, hearing different people talk, because a lot of people will t twist scriptures. That's exactly how Satan comes to you. Masquerades like an angel of light and twist scriptures. Amen. So we're going to get into some of this right now. Amen. Amen. I'm glad you guys are back. Um, we're talking about false teachers today, specifically going in on one of them named Kenneth Copeland. I know a lot of you guys heard of him. I know a lot of your parents or grandparents probably listened to this man, probably want try to get them to send all kind of money for different things. You know what I mean? Him and his five, 10, 11 jets. Like he needs more than one plane, you know? Um, it's just, it's, it's crazy, man, that a lot of these teachers and a lot of these mega church pastors use people that are desperate, use people that are weak and get as much money as they can out of them. Uh, not truly having a heart to help them, not truly wanting to um, bring them out of situations and wanting to deliver them from uh, different spirits, wanting to deliver them um, from different anxiety, depression, and different uh, struggles in their life. Amen. And that's what the Lord wants to bring us when we come into a place where we are entering his kingdom. The Lord wants to bring us into deliverance, but a lot of these people do not um, bring us into that because a lot of these people are not truly with the Lord. Amen. So let's get into the first video of Kenneth Copeland struggling to find words to say. So he goes into this. I give you a chance to raise your income. Praise God. You missed a place to shout right there that you need to get used to this now. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Of course, all of our offerings will go toward the outreaches of Kenneth Copeland Ministries and, and uh, especially Kenneth Copeland Ministries Canada. And it is, and, and the, the territories under which the Canadian office uh, is Listen. That man wasn't talking about anything. If anything, that was a mockery to the Lord. And I believe I know I, <laughs> him and Sid Roth must be really close friends because look what Sid Roth did and told people. Look how Sid Roth tried to teach people how to speak tongues as if he can just teach people how to speak a tongue. Boy, man, if these men don't repent of their ways, look, look at this. Ever prayed in tongues? If you follow Glory my instructions, the anointing is here to do the rest. I can't do it for you, but I can tell you how to pray in supernatural languages. So you start speaking like little baby words and say them as fast as you humanly can when I begin to pray. And when the supernatural will become natural as you take a step, Peter, of faith. Raise your hands to the Holy God and begin to pray in a language you've never been instructed. If you don't move your tongue and speak, no one else will do anything. Glory. 
I know you don't know what to say. Make real nonsense syllables up. They're not nonsense. But if the first words coming out of your spirit, do it faster. I said faster. I said faster. You can do it faster than that. If I had a gun in your room to do it faster. Okay, enough of that trash. He said, if I had a gun to your ribs, I bet you'd do it faster. What? How are people still in there listening to this? How? And people get to the point where they believe it because what they what these teachers do is they take different scriptures and take it out of context. One of them being this. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man, remember these words, no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Remember this word, mysteries. No man understands. He speaks mysteries, people. Now, what does mysteries mean? Now, let's find out what it means. In the Greek, the word mystery means mysterion, hidden thing, a secret, mystery, generally mysteries, religious secrets confi confined, confided only to the initiated and not to the ordinary mortals. Confined only to the initiated and not to the ordinary mortals. Now, go all the way down to the bottom of God, the secret counsels which govern God in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. I think people take different scriptures out of context when it says different things. Listen to me. That verse says no man. No man. You have to understand when you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, when you have God inside of you, you are no longer just an ordinary man. You are a child of God that has God inside of you. You get what I'm saying? So when different things are, are said, you will be able to interpret it through the Holy Spirit. When it's talking about speaking mysteries, it's talking about speaking an apostolic language. A language of God. This is why Jesus never spoke without a parable. Because the secrets and the mysteries are in the parables. It's a certain language. It's not just doing what Sid Roth said. Or somebody trying to tell you to move your mouth around. It's rubbish. It's mockery to the Holy Spirit. It's mockery. Not saying that uh, the Spirit can't touch you and you can sp speak similar to that. But even then, that's that's just baby. That's baby stuff. That's milk. When you get to the meat, you start speaking in apostolic language. You start speaking in parables the way the Lord, the way Jesus Christ did. And you understand it because of the Holy Spirit inside of you. Let's not get it confused. Please, people. Please. Hallelujah. You speak with a mystery. Mystery is mysteries are only given to the initiated. How are you an initiated one? By having the Holy Spirit in you. Hallelujah. By having the Holy Spirit in you. By the Holy Spirit interpreting for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's, get, let's go a little further with Kenneth Copeland. This guy is, is something else, you guys. Watch this. That's the cutting of the covenant. And then I would do the same. Jesus said, take this cup. This is my blood of the new covenant. Now we've mixed our blood. Which is his and which is mine. And we could never separate. You can't separate that. Guys, 
What he did was he's talking about he's talking about in the word where Jesus says, drink my blood and eat my flesh. And the Lord's talking about to have life in you. But the Lord wasn't being literal. The Lord wasn't seriously talking about drinking true blood and eating his real flesh. You guys, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Jesus is the bread of life. He's talking about communion. Amen. But he's talking about spiritually. Spiritually eating the bread of life, spiritually eating the flesh of Jesus Christ, spiritually drinking the blood, which is the DNA. Amen. The more revelation you have, the more DNA you receive, the more you go through metamorphose, like, like a butterfly, like a caterpillar goes through metamorphosis to become a butterfly. You're going through metamorphose. The more you drink the blood of Jesus Christ, the more you eat the flesh of Jesus Christ, you eat the bread of life. The more you take communion, the more revelation you get. What every revelation is a manifestation of Jesus Christ in you. You are going through metamorphose. You are becoming a new creation. It's a process, but you are truly becoming a new creation. Even a butterfly, when they change into a caterpillar, it's completely different DNA. The caterpillar has different DNA than when it turns into a butterfly. It's completely different DNA when it goes through metamorphosis. But these guys are giving you a satanic interpretation where they're actually trying to make it look like they're mixing real blood. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Thank God for his remnant. Thank God for the truth that the Lord is bringing back because the falling away has been so thick. It's crazy. It's crazy. And by the way, you guys, for those who want to join Bible studies, I'm going to put it in, in the description below. We have Bible studies at VOH Ministries. I'm going to put it in the description below for those who truly want to join Bible studies and learn spirit and truth. Who truly want to be on who, who are truly on fire for God and truly want to dedicate their lives and and their their entire being to the Lord. Amen. Because that's what we do over here. We are true disciples. We are truly followers of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now let's look at this last video real quick. Right now. Because we in have, the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office of the prophet of God. I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan. You destroyer. You killer. You get out. You break your power. You get off this nation. I demand Amen. judgment on you. I demand. Oh. I demand. I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. I call you done. I call you done gone. You come down from your Amen. place of authority, destroyer. You come down and you crawl on your oh. belly like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. You will destroy through COVID-19. No more. No more. No more. It no more. is finished. finished. It is over. And the United States of America is healed you, and well Thank you, again, Praise saith the mighty Hallelujah. Spirit. Glory. Glory. Oh, peace, who is also the Prince of War, the Lord Jesus Christ. When oppressive. So we all know that COVID still was after that for sure. But there he is saying that it was over, says the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, a lot of these people have the son of perdition inside of them, people. It says in the word of God that the son of perdition will sit in the temple of God. And in the word of God, there are two words. There are two words for temple. One is Naos and one is Haran. Haran is the physical temple and Naos is the spiritual temple. And in that verse, when it says that the son of perdition will sit in God's temple, it's talking about Naos. It's talking about the spiritual temple. So a lot of these people have the son of perdition sitting in their temple. 
sitting in their temple. They might have started on fire. They might have they might have started on fire for God. But somewhere along the way, they got infiltrated by the devil. Just like Adam and Eve. Somewhere along the way, the serpent infiltrated. The serpent planted seeds. The serpent slithered his way in there and now is in charge of that temple, in charge of that tabernacle. So I just want to say, you guys, if you guys know people who are listening to this person, are these type of people, get them out of there. Get them out of there. Show them this video. Get them out of there because what they're doing is they're walking to towards where he's walking, which is if he doesn't repent, damnation. People, a lot of people have leaders after their own heart. A lot of people have leaders after their own heart. And you have to bring light to them and allow them to see it through you. What is really going on? You have to shine the light in the darkness that they are in. Amen. I love you guys. Uh, I pray you guys got a word out of this. I pray that seeds were uh, planted in your gardens. Hallelujah. And um, yeah, God bless you guys. Shalom. We'll be back for next time. <laughs>